Hi guys, Geeky Sabwana here with another tutorial. For today's tutorial, we will import a large SQL file into a website or live domains database. Let me just demonstrate to you that I cannot import a 56 MB size SQL file directly using the PHPMy admin in my website. That's the error and I have a solution. We can solve this by the following general steps. First, download the big dump zip file that will help us import. Second, modify the big dump file with the right setup or requirements. Third, upload the big dump file and SQL file to a website directory. Fourth, perform the import on the website. Fifth, check your database if the dump was successful. And lastly, the most important part, delete the big dump PHP and SQL file in your directory for security purposes. First step would be downloading the big dump zip from the big dump website. After that, extract the file and let's open it using a text editor. You can use any text editors that fancies your taste. If you're wondering, I am using Sublime Text. You can get this for free as unregistered or you can buy a licensed one from their website. Let's leave it here for now because we are going to create a new database and get the database credentials that we need to make our importing work. We will get back to this later. You are looking at my website's control panel. My website is using cPanel and don't worry because other control panels has the same functionalities of what a control panel can do which provides functionalities that can manage your website. Okay, what I'm doing is creating a new database because we will assume that I haven't set up my database yet. I'm going to give my database a name. Now the database is ready. Next would be creating the database user for it. Right now, I'm assigning the new user I created to the new database. Check all the privileges. Cool! At this point, we now know our database credentials, so it's time to modify the big dump.php that we extracted earlier. Remember that? Let's go back to the file that we opened earlier in the text editor. The necessary things that you will modify in this file is the DB name, DB username, DB password, DB connection char set, and file name. Let's input the database credentials first. Next is the connection char set. The char set that you will set here should be the same char set of your SQL file. To know the char set of your SQL file, open your SQL file and look for char set and there you have it. That's the char set. In your bigdump.php, set your char set as the same char set in your SQL file, okay? That's really important. Next is specifying the file name of your SQL file. Since my SQL file name is GC table, I'm going to type in GC table.sql. Make sure to save this file and now we're off to uploading the bigdump.php and the large SQL file to our live domains directory. For this step, we will use an FTP client and what I have here is WinSCP. I'm using WinSCP because I had problems connecting using other FTP clients and my hosting provider recommended WinSCP. Any FTP client will do for as long as it connects you to your FTP server, alright? Input your FTP login credentials to connect to your FTP server and we can begin transferring the files needed. 
you can obtain your FTP credentials in the control panel. Mind you, the folder structure that you are seeing right now might be different from your FTP server's folder structure. If you can see a public HTML folder or var www HTML folder, just get inside there. Or if you can't see any folders, just use the root directory then. This is my personal website and I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm just going to name it Big Dump. Get inside that folder and we will start transferring files now. Let's upload the bigdump.php that we modified earlier. Then, upload the large SQL file that I have here. Your SQL file should be in the same folder as the bigdump.php so that it will be convenient. Now that is done, we will visit this folder from the domain name, then click the bigdump.php. Click Import, then it will show you the following results with your file details and that it has been imported successfully. Let's check now our database. There you have it. And yeah, let's not forget to delete the files in the directory for security purposes. If you encountered errors, I'd be happy to assist you or you can read the usage page in the Big Dump website. I'm going to include the link on the description. Alrighty guys, that's about it. If you have any questions or clarifications regarding this tutorial, you can comment it below. If you want me to assist you in importing your large SQL file to your live domain using Big Dump, inbox me or send me an email through geekysabona at gmail.com. I'll be glad to assist you further. I'll respond to your emails or comments as soon as I can. Don't worry. If you have other ways to do this, I would greatly appreciate it if you comment it below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.